Any statue that somehow humanizes a white person for their oppression should be taken down. That's along with John Harvard, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, John F. Kennedy. Yale, right? Yale. Yale. Benny Johnson here in Washington, D.C., Lincoln Park. Tonight, there was a large rally to tear down a Lincoln statue. The statue is over 150 years old and was the first monument to the emancipation of slavery in America. Emancipated black Americans commissioned and paid for the entire statue. The first contribution of $5 was made by Charlotte Scott, a freed woman of Virginia, being her first earnings in freedom. The statue was consecrated by her suggestion and request on the day she heard of President Lincoln's death. At the unveiling of the statue, civil rights and anti-slavery icon Frederick Douglass spoke. So how much of the statue's history do these protesters actually know or understand as they demand the statue be torn down? What's the purpose of this gathering? Uh, to tear this shit down. Yeah. While we're out here is that we want to tear down this, you know, statue. It embodies something that is not, you know, reflective of American people and what American freedom is. Where did the statue come from? It came from a white supremacist mythology that they have the power to bestow freedom upon other people. Do you know who put up the statue in the first place and where it came from? Yeah, black people put up the statue. And I know that's a great talking point for a lot of white people online to say, well, white people, you know, black people put it up, but how did black people put it up? Was sharecropping money that was given to black people who did, wasn't even entitled to the money in the first place. So really it was the white people's money that paid for the statue. You didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. It's my first time seeing it. I've been, like, and like it's just, it looks t like very discouraging, very like, I don't know, derogatory. Have you ever read the plaque at the bottom of the statue and seen like who, who made the statue? I have not. So the statue was erected and 100% erected, paid for by emancipated citizens, by black Americans who were freed with the Emancipation Proclamation in order to honor the Emancipation Proclamation. Right. Do you think it's slightly disrespectful to their memory in order to tear down their statue? Well, I think it was a, it's disrespectful to have it up in the first place. I don't, I think if, you know, people back then had the choice to have it up or not, they would definitely not have it up. I mean, what, what person would want to be looked at like that, you know? That's very, like, demeaning. That man is not kneeling on two knees with his head bowed. He is in the act of getting up. And his head is up, not bowed because he's looking forward to a uh, future of freedom. Do you know who paid for the statue and who like, funded yeah, the statue? Yeah, uh, formerly, our formerly enslaved ancestors, but our formerly enslaved ancestors didn't get much of choice in, in these types of decisions. But is it disrespectful to tear down the statue that they paid for and erected? I think it's disrespectful to normalize a white supremacist icon. So why should we celebrate white people for being mediocre, for our freedom? Why? Why is that? Why is it that we live in a world where your whiteness is somehow all that is centered around you guys? As a mediocre white person, I don't feel like I should be celebrated. Like I said, we know conservatives love to get in semantics, and I love to get in semantics too because that's why I go to Harvard also. So we know how to get down. So should statues of John Harvard come down though? Oh, Sensei. by all means, yes, yeah. yes. Yes. And two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar fifty in late charges at the public library. <laughs> All you see is, you know, somebody on his knees with shackled on his wrist. Yeah. Probably the majority of the people who are going to see this statue are going to be sensitive to the image and not really understand the background of it. Yeah. People have said, well, he's chained to Mr. Lincoln. Closer look, you will see that while there's a shackle on his right hand, he's holding the end of a broken chain, which means he has taken his freedom. He now realizes he's free. Jimmy Kimmel wore blackface. Jimmy Fallon wore blackface. The governor of Virginia wore blackface. Maybe them first? No, 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 no. Jimmy Kimmel, from my perspective, is a very talented comedian. What he did at the time was comedy, and he's still comedy today. This was offensive then, it's still offensive today. So blackface funny, the emancipation, proclamation statue of it's, it's, it's all a question of context. And that's what people had to say about tearing down a statue that was paid for by emancipated citizens 
and that honors Abraham Lincoln and the Emancipation Proclamation. What a day for America. What a bizarro world time. But that's America today. Brought to you, Benny on the Block, Turning Point USA. See you next time.